So now you want to get to the good stuff and, and turn on or off your sensors and, and set the different sample rates. So that's on the measurements tab. And this is where you'll see just how many sensors are in your device. So uh, first off, you may want to you know, make the window a little bigger because there is a lot of options here. First area is that uh, main accelerometer. You can you know, enable a certain number of axes if you want. Uh, and this can really improve battery uh, life as well as storage capacity really by only recording a handful of uh, channels if you like but the sample rate will go up to 20 kilohertz and, and then this is the anti-aliasing filter cutoff as well as a low pass filter uh, so you can get rid of high frequency kind of noisy data uh, or it may be data that isn't necessarily noisy from an electrical perspective but the mechanical uh, vibrations at high frequency tend to be uh, of lower energy density as well as uh, you know maybe not as as much of interest to your test so you can kind of clean the data here by making a uh, low pass filter a little bit more aggressive it will default to be uh, one fifth the sample rate you set so that's the main accelerometer the secondary accel accelerometer you have uh, you can still set the sample rate you don't have as many options, you know, setting the sample rate here at this accelerometer is, is virtually unlimited, but here you have, there are uh, orders of two, it's a, you know, it's a digital output, so there's a little less uh, options there for us, but you can set up to four or 4,000 hertz, uh, as well as, you know, pretty low down to 16. Up here, you can, the lowest will let you sample is at, I thought it was uh, 100 hertz, I guess it's 10 hertz, uh, so that's good. And you can also turn off the accelerometer if you like, and you know you can turn off this accelerometer um, also by just disabling all axes. But I will record at 4,000. I always like a lot of data. You can always post-process data and get rid of, uh, but you can't necessarily add. We also, for if you put an expert.txt file on your device in the system folder, we'll give you uh, access to a little bit more functionality. And this secondary accelerometer has some other nice features to actually let you do a high pass filter, which can be useful if you don't want to see gravity, uh, as well as you can make the max measurement range, you know, 10 Gs, which will uh, increase your resolution by an order of four and reduce your noise by an order of four. I will warn you, if you want to play with this, your data in post-processing, you may need to manually change. Um, we still have, uh, so let me get the lab software to, to do that. But this is in expert mode. Uh, here's the other channels. There's the temperature, pressure, humidity, and you can you know, set the sample rate here up to 10 hertz with these. Now this is the inertial measurement unit, the IMU. Uh, you can record with relative orientation and uh, that's just once it wakes up, it, it says that orientation as you know, uh, a zero heading and then it shows the orientation change relative to that from the beginning. Or you can use absolute orientation, which will use the magnetometer to find uh, Earth's gravitational field uh, and her magnetic field and um, orient itself to that. That takes a little bit more power when you do it that way. But you also can use you know, the, the rotation just if you want to look at just the gyroscope and you can go up to 200 hertz in that. We also, when you're in that expert mode, um, you can also turn on the magnetometer uh, as well as the other accelerometer um, if you'd like. And then we have a light sensor here, uh, which is helpful to see you know, if something's inside or outside. You can also use the light sensor to potentially help you uh, synchronize multiple units with a flashlight or a, uh, you know, a laser pointer or something to see, or turn on the, you know, just turn on the uh, lights in a room and kind of give that a, a trigger condition, if you will, to say, oh, that's when all my, all my devices just see this light start at the same time.